Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to more enjoyment of Dark Souls 3. Our main host, Chad of Fury333, and we're moving on to the dungeon. But first, I'm curious if anything's here. I think there was something. I don't actually remember. And apparently I was mistaken. Or was I? Yes, I was. Well, worth being thorough. And also, wow, that's quite the drop. Well, so that's that. Anyway, the dungeon. And the lead up to it, which is actually more Pontiff Knights, now that I think about it. I, th I actually don't remember exactly what is in here. I mean, there's some Pontiff Knights and some Fire Witches, and a bonfire, which is nice. It's really nice to have this specific bonfire. And otherwise, I'm probably best advised to get a torch. I'll do that in due time. Don't worry. Ah. Okay, so those are more Aerithal Slaves. I mean, the thing is, there's a Fire Witch down there, which I can deal with however I'd like. And then there's... Pot of Knights here? No, there is one around the corner. Which is a bit of a concern of mine. As in, I'm gonna just go and put on my Pairing Dagger. Because I probably should. Also, that Fire Witch is gonna be a bit of a pain, but if I go down here... Oh, wow, that's a much longer drop than I thought it was. Wow, okay. Slight mistake. Slight mistake in practice. I will not lie. I expect it to be a little bit less steep. Oh well. That's what lighting is for. That's why it's, it's good to have things well lit. And not like this, where it ends up being death. Okay, so given the circumstances, a torch seems particularly prudent. It will also require that I address some of my other armor and weapon situation, but... At the very least, torch is prudent. I can just drop this, yeah, that'll work. So with that, there's the fire witch up there. There's something else further up that I really wanted to get to. Okay, fire witch. They're already on it. I can just cut them. I don't really need to worry about it. Ow. Oh yeah, right. These guys don't have the Ow! Quite the same approach because they are ow. Well, I traded, so that that works. I'm good with that. And now you just straight up die. Okay. Well, that actually, all things considered, went pretty well. Now for the thing I'm really not so sure about, and I will get to full health for just in case, even though I don't have the load of shield ring. Okay, right, you do that sweeping attack. Okay, get on even footing. Ow. Ah, I know I can do this. Done this before. Okay, maybe it's just not... Okay, I agree. That was a nice imitation of your dancer. But it wasn't quite... It, I didn't quite feel it. I think... Oh, you're dead. Oh, never mind. Well, don't... Don't bother again, then. Also... This is... Less of a pain than I thought it would be. I gotta be honest, I expected this to be a little bit more... Harrowing, although we still have a few fights to fight. There is still a fair bit more ahead before we get to the next bonfire. But what we have encountered thus far... Actually, that hasn't been all that unma unmanageable. The only downside is that I have, like... Five Estus? Yeah, five Estus. Anyway, there's the next fight here. It's gonna be... There it is. Alva Seeker that's burned. Okay, so you're gonna get... Ow. You're gonna hit me because of walls. I've mentioned I don't like walls. Ow! Oh shit, that's a full-on combo. Okay, that's good to know. Don't get hit. I said don't get hit. What? Is that not parryable? Ugh. If someone in the comments could provide me a list of all the attacks that are and are not parryable, would be greatly appreciated. Because I don't know if that's parryable. I know I didn't time it right. So, like, that that's fine. I get that. I'm just thinking in terms of what is and is not something I can actually deal with without just, you know, hitting them until they stop. 
Okay, I don't need to worry about those two all that much. The Fire Witch, while a bit of a pain, I think just stops caring if I leave. And yeah, they do. Or, to be more precise, I think someone else invaded me. That might be for the Alva fight, though. Yeah, okay, that's for the Alva fight. Okay, I- what? What? Okay, that's not gonna work. I mean, if I- If I can get the timing run- Ow, and I can't- Ha! Ha! Wait, you stop! You fool! Aha! I can push you off the cliff! Like last time! Well, okay, maybe not so much last time exactly. Okay, that's better. Come on, you. What? How did that not count? What the heck? Ow. I will parry you eventually. Or I'll just cut you enough times that it won't matter. Ha! There you go! Staircase is not gonna save you! Oh, whoa. You're almost gonna cut me down, though. Ah! I mean, I'll grant last time I fought them it was on relatively even footing, but... Oh! There we go. Aha! I can just cut you. I'd rather have parried you, but I can just cut you. And that is that. Alva goes and dies. And I get some HP back. And I think I got some SS back. I did! Hooray! Or maybe I did. I actually started with nine, so I'm not quite sure. Still only a couple tries and managed to make it. So here we are at the dungeon! It's not the nicest of places. I'm gonna be honest. The real estate is pretty low value. Not exactly keen on buying a place here or otherwise investing. If they cleaned it up a little bit, you know, it wouldn't be too bad. It'd be kind of cozy, but as it is, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just too picky. I, I think I'm just too picky. I think I've really just got to lower my standards a bit. And, or, or maybe I'm okay. Maybe, maybe I've got a good judgment here. Like, you know how it is. You go, you go through an area. You, you, you see. You see a few dead bodies in the house, and you start to wonder, like, what's going on? Maybe this is not a good place. And, yeah, you know, it's good to trust your feelings. It really is. It's important life skill to know, by intuition, whether or not something is good or bad. Or it's going to be helpful or harmful. And not knowing that can make your life a lot harder than it has to be. So I think I'm going to trust my gut. And go with this place not really being all that great. Ah. Ha! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the landlords aren't exactly the nicest either. I've got to be honest, I've... I've had better. Oh. Yeah. Remember that was something. Yeah, I can't say I'm particularly fond of the other tenants either. That my... Now, a good... A good place to live comes with good neighbors. And, I mean, that that was not a good neighbor. That was a neighbor who was likely to push me over a cliff. Granted, I can't say I'm being the best neighbor myself. I, I suppose I'm being a little bit vindictive. But I I think I'm justified, considering the circumstances. I mean, to be fair, they did attack me first. And that's just not neighborly. Alright, well, at any rate, the... Where is it? Here you are. Oh, wait, why am I going to go behind you? I can just do this. Yeah. Ha! Also, I have more than enough HP. I don't need to worry about it, even if you do hit me with your weird rod or brand or whatever that's called. Brand. That's what it's called. Oh, hey. It's a zombie. And, oh, hey, I don't have a huge amount of HP. Well, that's fine. I'll just recover what I do have. Yeah! Ow. All right, you want to play that game, huh? Yeah! Burn! Burn to my fire! Oh, wow, that actually destroyed the corpse entirely. Oh, never mind, they always do. I thought for a second it was this weird special effect, but apparently no. That always happens. How's my health doing? Not great. Not gonna lie, it's it could be better. It has been better. I can't remember if there's anything here that I need to grab other than what I already have. This area is going to be a little bit time-consuming for the simple fact that 
it's kind of hard to actually keep track of. But I think if I do it methodically, go hallway by hallway and... Nothing there, okay. Ah! Hallway by hallway and... Oh, find a locked door. And then go back when I get whatever key opens that up. I should be fine. Okay, there's one of those and... Cages. Whatever. Yeah! Ah! Oh, it's a good wall. Ah, okay, there we go. Wall is no longer a concern. Okay, since I'm not really a fan of dealing with these things directly, let's deal with them indirectly. Like so. And remind myself why I actually would want to have great soul arrow, not great heavy soul arrow. Bit of a difference. But it is significant. At any rate, I think I can just... Oh, wait, I can just do that. Is there... No, I can't. I thought that was a... F I thought that was thrashing about because of pain. No, it's in fact thrashing about because it's trying to hurt me. Well, that's fair. I am basically trying to kill it, so you know, it's woken up and it's going after me. I think if I wait a sec, then I can do it without wasting more FP. No, not not effectively, no. Well, it was worth a shot. Fading soul, several fading souls. 250 souls worth of fading souls. And some other stuff. Okay, that is, what is that? That's something I can backstab, I think. No, that's a barrel. And that's a maggot. Well, that's fine. I've already prepped. I'm prepped. I'm prepped. I got my torch. I know where my torch is. We're all good. Though one major concern is that I don't remember if I get other stuff throughout. It's a little bit tricky. I think these guys... Which ones are targetable? No. No. Okay, we're good. We're good. Do I... No, they don't break. They just exist. They're an immutable part of the world. I think you're also zombies. Ha ha! Zombies no more! And I... Well, okay, I guess you will be eventually. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Now it's time, a bad time to get that old sorcerer's stuff. I mean, it's my old serious hat. Speaking of which, I... No, I don't want to put on a hat. What hats do I have that I even wear, anyway? 1.2... 1.1... Yeah, there's nothing that's really light enough to be wearable without changing out of the brass armor. And I quite like the brass armor. It's got good protection for its weight. And it also looks nice. Oh, okay. I know there's something else around here. And that door is it. Try fire, you say. Oh, yeah, you would say that. Like so. It's not even got the door open. Actually, you know what? Ow. Ow. Thankfully, yes. Thankfully, I have the torch. But it is making me wonder if I should switch over to this. Just to deal with this maggot. I mean, maybe. Maybe. Okay, now I can deal with it. There we go. That's nice and smooth. And it's done. And got great magic shield, which doesn't really do me a whole lot of good since I don't think it works on non-shields. Pretty sure it requires that you have a shield. Like some kind of weapon that counts as a shield. Which I doubt. Oh well. I mean, the other alternative is that it might work. Yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, I don't know. I don't have to pay for it. I didn't buy magic shield because I wasn't sure if it would work in a left hand weapon, but I can use a great magic shield as I simply got it for free. Well, you know, at the cost of some effort, but basically free. Actually, come to think of it, I got HP back from doing all that. I only have. How many S's do I have? Like, seven. Okay, maybe not that much back. Regardless, what I need now is a key. There's a special key that I need to pick up. That gives me access to loads of places. Ah! I might get it off of this jailer. Okay, if I recall correctly, there's nothing in the way between me and that jailer. So I can just go ham as they try to reduce my HP as... Ow! As they do... Why am I not... Why am I not getting... Oh, come on! I don't know why I didn't get attacked. Alright, let's get back here and take this a bit of a safer way. Go around, find... Find all the zombies, kill them for... What the hell are you? Uh, whatever. I don't really feel like dealing with you right now. We got other... We got other things. I'll kill you later. Okay, why are the other two zombies? Also, how many of them for HP? Max HP, still kind of crap. Oh, wait, no, it's not. That's my... 
Oh, yeah, I'm not emmered up. What am I thinking? Okay, we're good. I can just go. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. There we go. All right, that's... That's that. I guess I kind of like to be embered up, but... Eh. Oh! Nice. I actually would recover my HP if I had any missing. Well, you know, other than the 30% HP that I don't have because I don't have ember. But... Eh. I'll take it if I need it. Also, there was that weird frog thing in here. Does it speak? Does it die? Yes, but it's peaceful otherwise. I am... Wow. I am evil, apparently. Good to know. I'll put that under advisement. And the shortcut open means that I don't have to worry about anything else. Jailer-wise, except for the jailers down there and possibly over here. No, there's no jailers over here, but there are some down there. And more doors. Always doors. Irithal Dungeon, the land of doors. Aha! Okay, there's the key I was looking for. And no walls that I care about here. So, with the Jailbreaker's key, that gives me enough to work with to go around back and deal with a lot of the stuff that I couldn't get through the first time. You know, apart from the fact that I haven't cleared it. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. We'll, we'll manage. Oh, that's where the clinking chains are coming from. Okay, that makes sense. It's the chains! I'm hitting them and they're clinking. Okay, so if I want to, I can go straight to the end of the level. I don't want to quite yet. I expect this will take a couple episodes, and I'm perfectly fine with that. But... First off, what I do want to do is get rid of you. Yeah! Uh -huh. Oh, wait, that's... Shoot! I wasn't double-wielding. Aha! Okay, there we go. I wonder if I can ember back into decent HP with this. Like, I mean, it's... It's kind of a waste of an ember, but it is for science. And the answer is... Eh, no. You get a percentage of your HP back, but you don't get the full amount back, as you would hope. Alright, well, that's probably not going to work. I mean, if I manage to get both of them... That's something. Hey! Awesome! Managed to get some HP back. So this isn't a complete waste. Yeah. And more HP back! Wonderful. And you as well. Because I can stun you out with a double hit. Oh, no, I can't. Not completely. Well, it was worth a shot. Still locked. Okay. That's annoying. I figured it wouldn't be locked anymore. So, there's another key besides the Jailbreaker's key. I'm guessing the Jailbreaker's key is just now for that shortcut I got. Rather than generally useful in this more than mag. Okay, I don't really care about these guys. They don't matter to me, they're just maggots. What I care about now is the other side. I also kind of care about the shortcut, but... Eh, like I said, I want to actually go through the place. It's not a great place, but I figure I should at least give some amount of... courtesy. And make sure to check out the entire thing. You know, don't, don't just write it off completely. Or at least don't act like I have. Alright, so right now I've got you to drop down onto. Oh crap. Ah! Perfect! Midair spins! Midair spins to wins! Oh wait, that's. Shoot. I need you dead. Nope, bat! Ah! Wait, how am I heavy? How did that happen? Oh, do they make me heavy? I can't tell. Damn it, I can't tell what's happening. Stupid weight. What is my current weight? Seriously, what is my weight? 9696. Nine, okay, so they do something weird that can take away your ability to roll well. Good to know. I didn't know it was a thing, now I do. Ow. And now I've got to heal up. Alright, so at this point, considering how I've been fighting... Two of them over there. Actually, I probably could nail them both, so... Let's go for it, I guess. Ah! And we almost get it. We do get it? 
Aha! We get it! Okay, there we go. Did not die. Did find another one of these things, but this one's not as peaceful. I'm afraid I will have to put you down. I'm sorry. Didn't drop anything, though. Well, uh, that's a shame. Simple gem. Not so much of a shame. Don't really need it at the moment, though. I haven't used a lot of magic. Oh, yeah, you're still around. Ah. <sighs> Man, you're not getting stunned like the way I would like you to. But you will eventually. There we go. Okay. That's a melt back. Is this a key thing I can do? No. No, I can't. That's a shortcut. I don't think there's an easy way up to that shortcut either. I think you have to go down an elevator. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this, this spot I'll get to later. I'm not going to get to anytime soon. Alright, and also that... That there, Titanite lizard thing. Oh wait, it's strong as magic. Hang on. The thing is, there's a thing that's gonna try to kill me if I go for it, but I can go for it from a distance because, well, might as well. So what does it drop? The gem is a shard. It's a scale. Ooh, how many of those do I have? I have one. That's one. It's a good start. Okay, that's what I was expecting. And waiting for, and dreading, and now dealing with. Tailbone spear, which... the heck is that? Is that a thing I've ever seen? I sure have seen it before. I didn't use a lot of spears. I've never used a lot of spears. I've, I'm not really a spear-oriented character. Or spirited person. Very first time I played Dark Souls, though, actually, was basically spear and shield. I didn't do much other than that, and it was... okay. Not great. Oh, okay. So, dragon-based spear. But yeah, I'm not really a big fan of the way that that... of spears. Like, they're okay, I just... When you play the entire first game with a shield, like, hiding behind a shield, with your spear in front of you, barely getting through, hoping that you won't get yourself killed somehow, and that's just how you're playing the game, you start to dislike spears. You, you develop a certain... anti-fondness for them. Now, for the remaining parts of Profane Cap- or Profane Capital. Profane Capital's down there. That's what that- that big thing is. Profane Capital, which still reminds me of the Dark Souls 2 DLC. Still a thing. Also, this area is kind of scary because there's- I don't recall there being any bonfires. There are shortcuts. None of those things. Wait, are you killable? Yes, you are. In fact, it's wise for me to try because you're gonna try to kill me otherwise. Weird aristocrat type. Ow! Okay, so it looks like you're gonna attack me from range. And I'm fine with that. Oh, whoops. Wrong way. I wanted to parry you. What? Ah, stupid long range attack. Or long attack time attacks. I will parry you. I will parry people. I need to work on my parrying. Must you do slow attacks? Seriously. No, forget it. It's too much risk. I'm running out of Estus. I'll practice parrying elsewhere and else times. For now, just ba what the heck? I did not expect you to do that. You actually avoided getting backstabbed by me. I'm kind of insulted, to be quite honest. So there was something down here as I recall. But, apparently I recalled incorrectly. Okay, it must be a different staircase. See, I seriously thought there was something here, or something down here. Maybe it, just, maybe it was just killing them. Maybe that was the reward. You killed them and then stuff dropped, and I'm forgetting what was dropped and what was already there. Oh. Yep, that's what I thought. Alright. Oh, what? No! Ugh, why didn't I roll? I was supposed to roll. Darn it. Well, now I'm not in a... Now I'm in a pickle. And there's a wall in the way. Last thing I want is a wall. Okay. Well, this, this kind of sucks, because I think I have more to deal with besides just this mimic. 
and the Mimic is obviously a pain, but the Mimic is dead. Sadly, probably won't drop any SS for me. Does drop an SS shard, though. So, eh, well, something. I'm not confident about this spot, though. The problem is that I can't remember where the shortcut is. I know there is one, but where it is escapes me for the moment, and I need to find it if I want to have any chance of surviving. Like, without just wasting my time. Although, I guess I wouldn't be wasting yours time, so maybe I should just be playing it safe. Oh yeah, I forgot about this bit. Heh. And that's why you Jailbreaker's Key, and this is the thing I was thinking I was going to get. There we go. Jailbreaker's Key, so that this area actually does have a shortcut. Alright, we're good. Ah, darn it. Oh, that's just perfect. Ah. Never mind, you went and made a mistake of coming down to me, instead of letting me come to you. Your error will be your undoing. Ah, darn it. Ah. Man, this timing. Whatever, I... Did you bat... Must you walk away from being backstabbed? It's really rude. Like, backstabbing is a privilege I rarely get. And you guys have to just run away from it. I mean, don't fear the backstab. It's free. You get free backstabs from me. Because I'm just that nice. Hope you enjoyed it. Alright, so... Beyond this... I mean, there's this section here, which is... Not wise. There's bloodstains there for a reason. And then, of course, there's this section, which isn't even a door. And there's these guys with the hammers. Aristocrats, surprisingly, using exactly the same thing the peasants are using. I have a feeling that Aristocrats' mass is misnamed. Ah! Ow! Alright. We're gonna do this, huh? Yeah! Ow. Crowd control is the specialty of whatever twin blade I happen to be using, which at this point is the dancer's enchanted swords. Ha! I mean, that was painful, but it worked. After a fashion. Ha! Get some healing. No one really behind me. Ow. Get some more healing. Again, no one really threatening behind me. I mean, there's this thing. I don't remember what it does exactly. Oh, one of the people who just hits you quickly. Oh, right, I can roll through these guys. This is the one people I can roll and actually win by rolling. That and the zombies at the start. But mostly, when it comes to difficult enemies, I can do that too. These guys. Also, again, I feel rather unsure about how to approach that. I mean, I need to drop down there eventually. I don't remember exactly when. I just know that eventually I do need to drop down there. I also know that there's a ladder, because that means I can get back up. Oh, right, and the giant, which is why I went the way I did. That is, safely. All right, well, I don't need to worry about the giant quite yet, because this is, I think... Yeah, that's where the window drops you down to. So if I need to run back, there's a faster route that doesn't involve fighting too much. If I don't need to drop back, then... There's always this. Alright. Ow. Well, that didn't work out as well as I was hoping. I'm trying to remember if there's an easy way of dealing with this, or if just... Oops. Yeah! Eat soul arrows! Actually, what happens if you eat regular arrows? I'm curious. You take much less damage. Okay, soul arrow is the way to go. Got it. There's no way for me to fight this otherwise except, you know, wait for this slam. Actually, you know what? That's a thing I did, I can can do. I mean, just let it slam on me. And then kill it. I got plenty of Esta. Ooh, 550 in the head. Nice. Get over here. Give me another headshot. Okay, I figured that'd be a swipe or something, and I was right to assume. Because I didn't so much assume as remember. Regardless, another shot to the head. And I should be able to cut you. Well, man, I hate to fight this pure melee. Ah! 
Seriously, you're not dead yet? And okay, now you're dead. And you drop something. Well, probably. Well, that was actually not too bad. Let's continue. And this area, I'm trying to remember if there's a shortcut, because this area gets really weird. Like, there's a ladder, so it means there's ways back. I don't remember if there's a shortcut, though. I know there's a way to get down there. And is that... That... I think that's Siegvert down there. Let's see. Yep, that's that's our old friend, the Onion Knight. All right then. So that's a thing to deal with. Oh wait, rats aren't are kind of trivial. At least they were. Oh, these rats have HP. They actually have something. They can survive a hit. Okay. Now we're talking something meaningful here. Okay. Now, what the? Die. Die. I wonder if the two-handed attack actually takes longer than the one-handed attack. I generally assume it doesn't, but I actually haven't tested thoroughly. Okay, let's see. This is the one two-handed attack. And it looks about the same. I'd have to really I have to frame by frame the footage to know one way or the other. At any rate, this, as I recall, has a bunch of enemies spawn in once I get to the end. A bunch of those curse Yeah, those things. Basilisks. The things you hear clicking right now. Well. Yeah, come out of there. Can't really do much about it for the time being. I don't think. No, I can't see any hole in there. It's not like I have some kind of weapon that allows me to just blow things up based on any kind of position. Like, there's no grenades or anything in the game. I can just drop in there, have explode, and then it's like everyone just dies. Oh shit! That was a mimic. I should have checked. I, I'm i going way too often off light cues, apparently. Like That's actually how I determine what's a mimic more than anything. Oh, crap. No, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I survived. Barely. I need to get out of here. I need to let the curse just withdraw on its own. Okay, well, let's just leave this spot until the curse wears off. And they should more or less disengage. More or less. I'm not too confident. Ah! Shoot! No! Ah! Okay. Let's just get out of here. Because the last thing I want to do is die to curse damage. Really would rather not have that happen. Of course, there are, there are ways around this. Mostly involving shooting things with arrows. Why, you want to be shot with arrows? Please tell me you want to be shot with arrows. You do! You jump for joy when I shoot you with an arrow. Or at least you jump. Good enough for me. At least in this context. Ah, oh, come on. Get over here. Yeah! Alright, that's one down. And my curse damage has gone down far enough that I'm not too afraid. Also, worth noting, you can open up a mimic and still get out of the way. Barely, mind you, I nearly got it eaten, but you can still, if only barely, get out of the way of a mimic. Now the problem, of course, is that there remains still like two or three basilisks. Oh, good, the mimic went back to sleep. My main concern was trying to fight both at once. Yeah. But if I only have to fight one at a time, I'm not too put off. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I wonder if this works if I use this weapon. Yep. Eh, not especially well. Oh, right, it's one of those mimics. One of the Dark Souls 2 mimics. Which means I don't really know its animations offhand. So I might get eaten. At least partially. Alright, well that was... That was the eating animation. Ow. That was not an eating animation. And that was death. Now, the really, really cruel thing about those ones is that I think you can open chests from behind. I actually haven't really tried that. But if you open those from behind, they'll still get you. The whole point of them is to screw you over by getting you from their own back. Which is clever, 
but really annoying. At any rate, I got... Did I get a key? I did. I got an old cell key. That's right. That's actually what I want. It is an aged seal person. And giant rats. Ow. Ha! Giant rats that don't do me all that much damage. Okay, cool. So, they're just ways of getting HP. Creative ways of getting HP. More HP for me! Thanks for the healing. So, at this point, we open this up. And this is not quite where I wanted to go. This is where I want to go eventually. But I had other business to attend to before this. Which requires returning to where I came from. And dropping down. And hoping I don't die. I think there's another mimic along the way. But as with all mimics, they don't do anything until I provoke them. Because this area here has... Ziegvert at the bottom. That's right. Ziegvert's right there. And I don't really know any way of getting down there other than literally just dropping down. There might be another way to get down there. If there is, I'm sure it's better than what I'm about to do. Actually, for that matter, maybe there is, because I haven't actually gone over here yet. I can't remember if I can go up. There's... The path you take, if you go down there, goes... Nope, no, no way. Nope. Actually, can I even drop there? Like... Okay, there's a platform there. I see. Okay. You know, that actually might be where that window led, now that I think about it. Because if you remember, there is a window over there that is actually the right level. That could be the way to go. It was, I believe... Oh. Well, that's a window. That's a drop onto something, but it looks like it was already there. And this is another window drop onto something. Oh, crap. Yeah, that doesn't help me any. Oh, wait. No. Okay, I see what the problem is. I would need to go a level up from there. Although I will go down the other side, because there's that other hole in the wall I'm curious about. It's right over here, and it's not too bad, I don't think. It actually gives me an item. I believe this is the safest way down if you wanted to go down this way. I mean, you, know, you still take damage, but not as much. Oh, wait a sec. Does this let me go down to the area safely? No, but it does let me go down to the area I was at safely. Avoiding the giant completely. Oh! Would have been useful knowledge. Ow. Oh, wait, I have... What am I thinking? I had spook in my, in my spell slots. I could have just gone for that. Ow. No, bad. No, 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 no. Where's Ziegvert's... Where'd Ziegfried go? For reference, these guys are infinite, so I'm not really going to bother too much trying to kill them, because there's not much point. They don't ever stop. Oh, was Ziegfried a level higher than I thought they were? No, they're right there. Yeah, sorry, not going to be super talkative right now. Just kind of not die to rats. Oh, if you can understand? Nope, I can't. I can't live. Ah! Unless I kill them all and get all my HP back because of some weird bug with the way that the rings work. Hit enough things, mm. you get it all. Mm. Uh, uh, all right. oh. Oh. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. Oh. That's fine. Look at me. Trapped like a rat. But what? you needn't worry. Okay. I've just been sitting here wearing my options. The moment has almost come. Ah, there's I the rest. need a bit more time. Okay, cool. I'll get back to you in a sec. I'm having a bit of an issue right now. Ah, uh, darn it! With the key. Yes, I get it. Outside. Why do they make me talk to you when you're in here? Hmm. Riddle for the ages. I already embered up. Shoot. My liberation requires a key. But the key is... Okay, cool. I can leave. Good. I think the way back is up here. If I recall correctly, at least. And yeah, there's that mimic I was talking about. The way back is here. There's a mimic there. Like hell, I'm trying to deal with it directly. I don't think there's a shortcut here, but at least, you know, there's a route. 
because we've we talked to Siegbert. He's they're in a loop for a conversation, so we can keep going. Oh boy. Oh yeah, right. There's no real shortcut here. It's just you kind of go back. Right, that's the thing. And also, there's this pit with lightning bolts. Not the most useful things in the world. Well, considering the circumstances and how I've been going about this... Hmm... I'm not really in a great spot right now. Like, the one thing I'm thinking is that if I go down here... And if I go through to the other side... Not the, exactly the way I came, but... Going across that way... And keep going... There is a shortcut fairly close by, as I recall. And I think... That will be actually where I end the episode, because we're... We're roughly about the halfway point. This is... This has been the Earthhole Dungeon. And hopefully these don't respawn either. Where is that exit? There is the exit! Alright, yeah, so going through here, the large rats won't have respawned. So I can just keep going. The only downside, of course, is those... Jailers. But if I avoid the Jailers, then we should be fine. And we avoid the Jailers! Hooray! And we get to the air, an area that has a, a secret. Dragon Torso Stone. And, oh, there's... Jester Required Ahead. Yes, there is a Jester Required Ahead. You get to another area. Not... Or maybe it is there. Actually, you know what? I never even thought of that, but that actually might be... Just the area you go to. Well, I thought it was Lothric or something, but no, I, I think that actually is it. Okay, cool, so Arch Dragon Peak is not some dream area. It's just over on the other side of things. However, for now, let us make progress, or at least let us secure progress, and get this shortcut. Because as I recall, this actually brings us pretty close to the beginning. Not right at the beginning. No, just reasonably close to the beginning. Actually, where are we? Oh, we're not that close to the beginning, actually. Again, reasonably close to the beginning. It gives me some room to maneuver, but not enough for my taste. So... Well, with that, seems like a good place to stop, so thank you all for watching, and until next time, enjoy stuff.